Now to the race for the White House and the big shakeup ahead of tomorrow's New Hampshire primary. The race going from three candidates down to two as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended his bid for president and endorsed Donald Trump. The race now down to Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. The former president could deliver a knockout blow to his former U.N. ambassador. ABC's Morgan Norwood has been on the ground in New Hampshire for days now. And there's our old friend live in Manchester laying out the stakes less than 24 hours before the polls open. Morgan. Yeah, chilly out here, Joel Amber, but the race is really heating up with Ron DeSantis out of the race. The pressure is really on for Nikki Haley. I mean, she's got a lot to prove here. Her performance tomorrow is on the line and will likely determine the future of her campaign. But, you know, depending on what happens from here on out, we could see an election, a general election showdown between former President Donald Trump and Joe Biden. With just one day to go until voters in New Hampshire head to the polls, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley crisscrossing the state in what is now a two-person showdown for the Republican presidential nomination. That's why I'm excited as tomorrow is the big day. The two-way state set after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suddenly suspended his 2024 campaign, setting aside his criticisms of Donald Trump. You could be the lousiest Republican in America, but if, but if you kiss the ring, he likes you. To back the former president instead. But Trump, who says he's honored to have the endorsement, in an interview on Fox News said he's not quite ready to consider DeSantis for his administration. You know, I have to be honest, is everything's a possibility, but I think it's highly unlikely. Nikki Haley has it all on the line here in New Hampshire. She spent 41 days in the Granite State compared to Trump's 15 as he split his time between the courtroom and the campaign trail. Even today in New York City, where he was expected to testify in E. Jean Carroll's defamation case, the trial postponed due to her juror's illness. Trump's team asking the judge to delay his testimony until Wednesday so that he can be in New Hampshire for the primary. When you hear Trump speak, what's he talking about? Grievances? The past? He's talking about vendettas? Today he's in court? Trump maintains an 11 point lead over Nikki Haley with 50% of support among likely Republican voters, according to a new CNN University of New Hampshire poll. Trump and Haley voters say these issues matter most. I'm right now I'm deathly afraid of immigration. This election, basically the economy and foreign affairs. And despite the polling average right now, Nikki Haley is still projecting confidence. She says even if Donald Trump wins tomorrow by more than 11 points, she says it is not game over. She is still in this race. We'll dive into her strategy and get into that at five. I'm Morgan Norwood. Back to you.